Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be doing a full-on review and demo uh, featuring Sephora brand collection. So I got the new Sephora Make No Mistake foundation concealer sticks. I got two different colors because I think they both work well for me. I always need two different colors throughout the year. It's in Chicago, it gets hot and it gets cold. You get tan and then you get nice and not so tan. So I got these two and then I'm also trying out the concealer from their Sephora collection. This is the um, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and um, I have tried one of theirs before but it was never my color so this is going to be like a true wear test on how they perform, how they perform together. It's my first time trying this guy. I tried this a few times but I've never really talked about it with you guys or given it a fair full on day kind of wear test. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So if you guys want to see how it wears, particularly on oily skin, then keep watching. All right, I'm going to start off with my moisturizer and I'm using the Hydramat Emulsion from Embryolisse. I usually use about a pea size of that. And whenever I'm doing these kind of thing, like review type things, I try to use the same products that I would normally use anyways, just so that it doesn't, I don't know, I don't like all those variables that people try. It's just too many games. I'm not about those games. <laughs> I have tried this foundation a few times and I'm still trying to get like the gist of how to wear it best so I haven't really full, done like a full on wear test with this so that's why I wanted to do that. Alright I have two colors here and I did go to the store to get a second. Um, the first one that I bought was originally a little bit too orange. If you guys saw my, my vlog in New York I was wearing this. This is the bamboo um, Sephora stick. And then the other color I bought was a couple shades down because the next shade down was a little bit too pink. And this is in the color Cedar. So I'm going to take Bamboo and I found that, um, is this Bamboo? Yeah. Yeah. I found that using a uh, brush, oh it's all the way over there. I found that using a brush is a little bit better for me than a sponge. The sponge just, it's harder to move the product. So I'm doing that on some of my parts of my face, and then I'm keeping the lighter color in the center of the face. Is that right? Oh no, cedar. Oh, cedar is a darker one. Bamboo is a lighter one. It's okay, I just mixed them all up anyways. It's just super easy, like I don't have to get my fingers dirty. All right, now I'm just gonna blend that with my dual fiber brush. And I will say that it does help to have a very stiff brush. This one is, I think, from Crown Brushes. I think this one is from Crown Brushes. So it is a stiffer formula. It's not super creamy or very emollient. Um, you do kind of have to put in some, some work into your wrist to blend all this out. But I think that what most people complain about with stiff foundations is that it's not good for oily skin or um, it's too dewy or it gets too oily. The few times that I've worn it, it actually doesn't leave me oily. Um, it kind of almost accentuates dry patches, but I kind of like that. Is that weird? <laughs> so looking up close into the mirror, there are hardly like any imperfections. I can cover up my acne scars, and this one was a pretty dark one down there. Um, my pores look okay, and oh, let's see. Actually, my pores look great right now. I think the part that I've been struggling with lately in general with every foundation is this part. I'm getting down on those little mean mug um, wrinkles and it's starting to show. It's super easy to blend. You just need a brush and you don't have to wet a sponge or anything. A while back I did get um, the concealer from Sephora and I got the color that was way too dark. That was back in January, you guys. So I went in and exchanged it. It let me, so. Um, and I got the color in Eclair. So e, the next few colors down were just a little bit too pink tone and Eclair looked more like tan. So I've never used this foundation, this concealer like as a concealer. The last one I had was more like a corrector because again, it was way too dark. So I've never really played with this concealer so I'm actually really excited right now. Doesn't look super full coverage but definitely brightening up under there. Actually, it looks really pretty. It's looking really washed out in the viewfinder because there's so much sun outside. Um, 
but in person it actually looks really pretty. All right, and then to set my face, I am gonna use the same old, same old that I usually use, which is the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. This is really, really good if you have oily skin. Um, it's really great underneath the eyes, but it's especially great if you're pressing it into the areas that gets oily. Right, so first I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes. I'm not really baking with it, because I'm just kind of like already like spreading it out and blending it out with my sponge. But I press it into it, my nose area because this is where I always get oily and that never changes. And then I'm going to take the cap, which is a little bit of product in there, and just kind of dust it everywhere. Just so that I put on my bronzer and it doesn't look crazy, it doesn't skip onto the skin. All right, now that my makeup is on, um, just really quick, I just want to share with you guys my lipstick, just in case you guys are asking and wondering, is the Stila Liquid Lipstick. This is honestly like one of the best nude pink mauve lips that I own. It's called Patina. All right, so this is the starting point, and I'm just going to take a look. I didn't spray my face down because I kind of just want to see how it wears without any kind of spray. Um, that's kind of how I test out foundations if I'm really, you know, doing an all-day wear test. All right, let's see here. Ooh, that gray hair is looking mean. Wow, if I'm looking up close, my makeup looks so flawless. It's like... It just looks so full coverage. I love full coverage. I know not everyone thinks like it's the best thing ever, but I love full coverage foundation. This is full coverage. It was so easy to put on too. Like you didn't have to like set it down necessarily. Um, my pores look really like flawless. Yeah, everything's looking good. If I do this, you can see it looks a little bit dry, but again, I kind of would rather it look dry than oily, at least for right now. Everything looks really great though. The time is 11.30. Um, it's looking like fall outside, so I'm gonna run a couple of errands. I need to buy dry erase board pens and um, eyebrow razors. Anyways, I need to run a few errands, nothing crazy. Um, but so far it's looking really, really good, and I'm like loving this. Again, I, this isn't the first time I've worn it, but this is the first time I'm really analyzing it with you guys in mind, because that's important to me, and it's a way different perspective. All right, it's 11.30. I'll see you guys in a bit. So it's been three hours since I had this makeup on. I haven't touched it or touched up. And typically around the three-hour mark is when things start to kind of get dicey or like, you know, my oils start to come through. And as you can see, my oils have come through. I still think it looks really good. Like, although you can see a little bit of shine in my nose area, hopefully you can tell, um, it still looks pretty. Like, my makeup is still, like, on. It's not blotchy. Nothing has moved. Um, and the foundation hasn't broken up into my nose area and that is a problem with some foundations I've used before where they do break up in my nose especially so that's where I'm particularly oily. I'm gonna wear this actually I have to say I wore this one day and I didn't notice any oil and it was because I used the NYX matte spray which is new to me but I didn't know it was that and now that I'm wearing this without that spray so I think that might have something to do with it, but I'm going to um, kind of dust my face a little bit with some powder. I'm using the Maybelline um, Better Skin Powder. I'm just dusting a little bit of the areas that have kind of gotten oily. It literally looks as good as new. It looks like I just applied my makeup, so I'm actually really happy with the way this is wearing. I'm really liking how easy it was to wear, too. Like, it was just so easy to apply, um, but... Also, just to point out, the concealer is looking really good. Nothing has creased. And um, my pores look pretty good, too. So I'm loving it. I'm going to check back in in a couple more hours, and I'll give you guys a final rundown. All right, guys. It's been a total of six and a half hours that I've had this foundation on total. I did blot three hours in, um, and I let you guys know that it was kind of breaking apart and oily. And I just got to look at myself in the viewfinder. I'm very oily, but it's like a pretty do. I don't know. I just, I think this foundation does a really good job of like staying put. And like, wow, granted, it's, I mean, it never claimed to be good for oily skin. So I'm going to say that off the bat. Um, however, it stayed on my face. Like, it didn't break apart. And my highlight's a little too beaming. I should have kind of chilled with that. If my husband just said right now, hey, we're going to go out, I'd be like, all right, cool, let's go. Because it still looks really good. 
like it looks like I freshly applied my foundation. Um, the concealer I like as well. I was watching the Lady Gaga movie and there were a couple moments that were just like, they were very emotional. So I was crying a little bit, but I was like wiping and wiping, but nothing really like broke apart at all. A little bit there, but that was like, I had some major tears in my eyes. Um, but yeah, other than that, it looks really, it looks really, really good. I'm, so the other day I wore this uh, for a whole, like probably five hours and I kept noticing my skin, like I didn't need a blot. And I was like, what was I wearing? And it was these foundations. But that day, what I did differently than what you didn't do today is I set my face with a NYX matte spray. I've only used a NYX matte spray like two times and one time was a short period of time and the other time was with this foundation. And I thought that the foundation was what lasted long, but really, I think it was the spray. I do think that this foundation lasts really long still, like as even though it's oily, it's not breaking apart on me and um, oh, what's this on my hair? Even though my skin is still oily throughout and you know, definitely seep through it didn't break apart and the foundation is everything's sitting really really beautifully so i'm like super excited about this foundation actually um what i like most about it is how easy it is to just like throw on and then use a brush and go um i love that because like with a palette like usually i have to use something like this to put down and whatever wet a sponge clean the sponge then wet the sponge make sure the sponge isn't too wet and too so it's kind of nice to have something that's very just easy to throw on and wear. My pores look good, actually. You know, my sister mentioned the other day, she's like, I don't know about your pores. And I was like, why? What's wrong with them? And she's like, I don't know, they look a little not so perfect. And um, I was very defensive. But I think it has to do with the spray. Because right now they look great. All right, so my review is, I'd say definitely give it a try. Um, there are so many colors that you can choose from on um, the stick foundations. And then also the concealer. The concealer is great. There's a lot of great drugstore ones too, but for now, I'm going to keep them all because I really do like a higher-end brand, that, which I don't really own. Um, and I just like the ease of that foundation stick so, so much. So I'm really excited about using those and playing with those. All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review and demo. I'll see you guys later. Bye.